everyone. Thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always um, staying tuned to our channel. Remember, we are here to keep you updated with the latest and most authentic happenings in our country. And what we've got today is from um, Biafra. Um, it's from Kanu, um, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Remember that uh, um, a couple of days ago, precisely on uh, May 27th, um, he gave a, 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 an instruction to Biafrans that they should not sit at home. There will not be a seat at home this time around um, to remember, to mark their anniversary and um, he gave the instructions what to do to read the book of psalms and to pray for the country as well so he has stated that um, we will not forget may 30th um uh, 53 years ago um when all of um, these agitation um, started we'll get more details um in a moment but before we do please if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel do click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up hit on the like button we really do appreciate you thanks for your continuous support so right let's go straight um into the main details of the news 53 years of Biafra, we will not forget May 30th, Kanu. Leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazi Namde Kanu, has hailed those he described as fallen heroes, saying the actualization of Biafra Republic is certain. He expressed happiness over the peaceful way his members and sympathizers of Biafra observed this year's Biafra Day celebration. The Biafra Day celebration observed yearly by IPOP held yesterday without any crisis as people went about their business. May 30th, 1967 was the day when Colonel Emeka Odumegu Ojuku, then military governor of Eastern Region, declared Biafra as a separate entity from Nigeria. Kanu had directed that there would be no seat at home during this year's Biafra Day. In a statement by the Media and Publicity Secretary of IPOB, Ima Powerful, Kanu vowed that May 30th will never be forgotten and commended the bravery, commitment and courage of Biafran fallen heroes who staked their lives for other Biafrans to live. The statement reads, Across the length and breadth of Biafra land, across every inch of the land and forest, where they fought and failed to protect their children, their relatives, and their generations unborn, we lit a beacon to shine their light to hope upon this generation of IPOB. From Igedo to Opobi, from Bakasi to Edo, their lights did shine at 12 midnight. We must remember them every May 30th on Biafra Heroes Day. I, Paul, will continue to remember and celebrate them. Remember them and their memories shall continue to abide with us until we achieve that freedom for all for which they laid down their lives. The class of 1967 to 70, we salute you. The international community, including United Nations, European Union and European Parliament, France, America, Africa, and Nigeria should free Biafra. Meanwhile, as some section of the Southeast geopolitical zone marked the 53 years anniversary of the declaration of defunct Biafra Republic, Chief Mike Ahumba San has said that the time has come for the country to revisit Aburi Accord. Speaking to Sunday Vanguard, Ahumba, who was the minority leader of Old Imo State House of Assembly in the Second Republic, said, All the things that led to the declaration of defunct Republic of Biafra 53 years ago are still prevalent in Nigeria. So, my people, that's um, um, what um, Kano has got to say, that um, they, they, they will not um, forget, they will never forget um, May 30th and um, He's saluting um, the class of those that were born um, between um, the 1960s um, and the 19. Um, 70s. Um, we've got a few comments here. We'll just go straight um, to the comment. Um, I've got one here. It says, We shall always remember the genocide committed against our heroes and heroines starting from 1945 till date on every 30th of May. More than 5 million innocent Biafrans starved to death 
by the evil British and Fulani Islamic government of Nigeria shall never be in vain. We must restore Biafra so that their soul will rest in peace. Another one here states that a Biafra state, 53 years later, would have been competing with Malaysia and Indonesia. Just see where Rwanda is in the space of few years without having any heavy natural resources like Nigeria. Another one here says that since Nigeria is a failed state, failed to be a responsible country after 53 years program against Biafrans and still counting, fail to implement the three R's after 53 years, fail to heal herself after 53 years, fail to improve the life of her citizens after 53 years, and all is because it was founded on lies and deceit. With all the above in mind, if you are against IPOB or restoration of Biafra, there no doubt you have an evil mind and regardless of your ethnicity, you hate a freedom. Well, um, all of these are um, these um, people's uh, um, opinion. Remember um, one time um, when um, um, a journalist, um, Kemi Oluloye, we all know her, when she stated that over her dead body that Biafra would never emerge and then um, she got a fair lash uh, or a fair share of backlash and then um, also um femi fanikayo they wrote to her and told her that it's not in her place to um speak for biafras they are the ones that started this move they are going to decide if they want to abandon it or if they want to continue and um, all of that so maybe she she took a different turn and then um, she came back again and uh, apologized them um, to be france and um, for making that hate spe speech against them that over her dead body and you know she also made the allegations that nam the kanu was dead but we know that's not the case nam the kanu has been speaking and from that day, he's been coming on air and then um, giving updates to the people of Biafra. He's the one that even brought this um, update now, stating that they will not forget May 30th. And imagine, he was the one that even brought the instructions for them to follow from uh, May 27th to May 30th. So Biafra, uh, Biafrans, they've been um, agitating this move. They truly believe in this move and it's something they've been hoping that it will come to pass. Now, the striking thing here is that um, um, one of the minority leaders um, of the old Imo State House of Assembly, that was um, in the Second um, um, Republic, he has stated that all of the things Biafras they were fighting for, the reasons they decided that, you know what, let's go our separate ways. It looks like we don't share the same values. It looks like we don't have the same um, same kind of orientation, the same mindset. Let's go a separate way that all of those things they, they, they were clamoring for, that those things are still present in Nigeria, they are still prevalent in Nigeria after 53 years. It means that that's one reason. So what he's pointing out there is that that is one of the reasons they are not going to abandon this, their agitation for this move. They are still going to fight it through that there's really no cause to uh to throw it away because all of the things they were they were speaking up against every of those things they are still prevalent and uh, we can all see that um, Biafrans all over the world they really believe um in this you know there was one time the battle of supremacy came up between Nam de Kanu and um, Raf Wanzurike and um, they 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 had a word of between each other and um, Wanzurike telling um, Kanu that um, if you are a true leader, come over uh, to Nigeria, don't be hiding somewhere in Obodo Ibo and then um, be telling us some um, stories. Just come, come over and let's, uh, uh, let's battle this thing out. And then um, all of that, and um, Nandi Kanu had his own share to Raf as well. And he stated that if Raf was consistent enough, Biafrans, uh, uh, probably by now, the, the change, it would have been nearer than this. So Biafrans, they really they support this move a lot. It's something they are hoping and believing that um, one day is going to come to pass. And this is 53 years from the first day it kicked off um, by the person of um, Ojuku. So um, they are still there. And um, um, now they released the shocking one. That was yesterday, I think, when he said that um, um, he was clearing the air that um, I'm, I'm not I'm not fighting to be president of Biafra. I'm only just a vessel. I'm just a tool to lead this uh, move, to make this move happen. And if at the end of the day it is achieved, Biafra emerge, I will be most grateful. That will be my only joy. But um, who else should be a leader? If you are the one uh, that has actually fought for this move, I don't think any other one qualifies. But anyways, that's left for Biafra's to decide when that time comes, um, should Biafra 
emerge. So my people, that's updates um, from us today. Um, Biafra, they've just celebrated peaceful. They had a peaceful um, celebration to mark their 53rd year anniversary and also um, to uh, um, pay respect um, to um, the heroes that died for them. And then um, Kanu gave a shocking a, a statement, a strong statement that they will not forget May 30th. Come rain, come shine. So guys, leave your take, leave your comments down below in the comment section. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.